Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I don't really have a specific format for today's video other than just kind of tidying up some plants that have been a little bit uh, neglected recently. Uh, I'm going to be adding some uh, fabric. I want to secure my uh, golden Hawaiian pothos to this burlap pole. Same thing with this uh, Syngonium chia pants. It's actually uh, outgrowing this pole already, but I just want to secure it a little bit better to these uh, burlap poles and uh, just yeah, make it look a little, a little bit cleaner. I should also probably do the same thing to a few of my plants on planks, and I think those need some water as well. So this is kind of, I guess, a plant chores video today. So let's get started. Every time I film an intro, I will uh, stop the camera and then I'll go review the footage, just make sure everything looks good, lighting and that sort of thing. And every time I make these intros, I always have this plant slightly, uh, I guess, in front of me and it always makes the plant look huge or makes me look small. But um, I'm just gonna show you, like this Syngonium chia pants is, is getting quite large but it doesn't look like uh, like a tree-like structure like it is in the video. So this is the Syngonium chia pens in size comparison. Um, yeah, it's large, but it's not monstrous like it is in the intro. Okay, so this thing is super wobbly right now. Um, I haven't really been able to, I guess, secure it properly in the pot. Like it's just flopping everywhere. So um, yeah, I'm gonna keep it like that for now, but I just, noticed okay there is a i don't know if you can see it on the camera or not but a ton of roots at the bottom of this pot it's going to be needing a repot soon it should probably do it right now but i don't have any of these larger orchid pots um, or these clear pots right now so i'm just going to simply add this uh, fabric tape to the plant i have it secured with just some of this uh, burlap rope right now but i want to try this uh whoops just destroying my hoya uh this fabric it just basically wraps around and it's got some velcro on the back and it can secure the plant a little bit snug or snug more snug to the pole so i'm going to remove the top one here first and then i'm just going to size it up here first I'm gonna add one kind of in the middle and then one at the top as well. So obviously you wanna make sure you use the soft fabric portion against the plant. You don't wanna use the, the prickly Velcro stuff. Oh, that's my phone. I'm just gonna snip it like that. And then I have a small little section like this. It's really hard to keep this uh, moss pole or burlap pole, I guess, moist enough that the aerial roots latch onto it because nothing's been uh, grabbing onto the burlap yet. But again, that's my fault. So you can see it's uh, pretty tight against the uh, burlap pole, which is what I want. That just kind of entices those uh, aerial roots to grab onto the burlap and grow. Um, or latch on to it upright. I'm gonna add another one up top here as well. Uh, I'm just gonna cut this little string off on the bottom, see how it does. It shouldn't move anywhere, like it's, it's not even really tight. So I'm just gonna cut that and just remove that. I already like the fabric compared to these strings because it's really easy to uh, tighten this up so that the, it's against the uh, the mot or the burlap pole. Whereas it was really, it was a little more difficult to get the string tight and keep it tight. It, uh, it seemed to have gotten a little bit loose. I'm gonna put one up here as well. So same thing, I'm just gonna size this up just quickly. I don't wanna use too much. Okay, so probably right there. I'm going to try and squish this as close to the stem as I can. Just like that. I okay, used a little bit too much, but you can see it's uh, butted up right against the burlap. And I will have to start uh, using my misting bottle or spray bottle and just uh, lightly mist the, uh, the outer casing of the burlap here so that uh, these aerial roots uh, search into the burlap. Let me know down in the comment section if you guys use burlap or if you use moss poles or, or wood planks, uh, what is your preferred method to train plants to grow upright and if they actually latch onto uh, whatever uh, system or product that you use. So now that this is uh, secured properly, uh, there is a dying leaf just at the very bottom here. So 
I'm not too concerned about it, but I am just going to prune it off just like that. So I'll throw this away. Thank you for your service. Now, hopefully this plant will continue to focus on new growth. You can see so far that um, as the plant continues to grow upright, each leaf keeps getting larger. So here's, I guess, a size comparison for one of the smallest leaves or the smallest leaf at the bottom. And then you can see uh, this one up here is almost the size of my hand. Here is the newest leaf as of like a week or two ago, and it's already getting another one. This one is in my bedroom. It's in a west facing window, but it's blocked by a house, so it doesn't get like a ton of light. So I added a grow bulb just above these plants. So it's shining down onto a number of them. There, I think I have a uh, global green pothos, an emerald pothos, and this syngonium chia pens on a shelf. Okay, so let's move on to the Hawaiian pothos. I have this one sitting on the ledge of my south facing window. And although it's growing upright, I got to secure it here. Some of the leaves, they're starting to get a little bit of uh, bleached or they're, they're getting bleached. So I think it's getting a little bit too much uh, sunlight. So I pulled it back a little bit as I want these, um, uh, the green coloration, or the coloration. I want the green color to remain green and not so faded. So yeah, I pulled it back a little bit, see if that helps as it is now spring. The sun is uh, way more intense than it was throughout the winter months. So yeah, just uh, pulled it back a little bit and it's getting another new leaf. Gorgeous. On this one, I've been using the flexible plant wire and I don't really like these. Like it's not like you can't really notice it from the front, but I just don't like how unkept it is. So I'm just going to remove the lower ones here first and I'm going to try and secure. See, look, look, look at this rope. It's not even doing anything. I'm just gonna snip that off too. I'm gonna try and secure all these stems. Oh, here's a new little leaf. As close to, what is this one doing? Okay, this is this one. Okay, these are all just gonna flop over now. So I have multiple stems in this one, so it's gonna be a little bit more tricky. Okay. Okay, so this is really thin. Okay, I probably should have kept that as it's just gonna flop over. Hopefully it doesn't break. Didn't plan this out very well. I don't usually plan my videos very well. Okay, so I got one stem there to this one. You know what, I'm not even gonna add it at the bottom. I'm just going to add it maybe in the middle. Okay, I should probably, okay, I'm gonna, st I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just rambling now. This one I don't want to break. So I'm just gonna lay that down. I'm actually gonna add a portion at the top here first, which you can't even see, stand by. Okay, that's a little bit of a better angle. So yeah, I'm gonna add it at the top here first, just do a rough fit, uh, just bring it around. Let's do maybe like right there and then I can cut off the rest. This one I want out of the way. So I'm going to hold that right there, put this around, making sure I'm not squishing any leaves. can adjust it a little bit better once I get everything fitted properly. There, okay, so it's secured. Take a length like that. It sticks really well, so I'm happy with this stuff so far. Okay, so I'm gonna try and wrap it around. Where's that other one? I'm gonna start with this one right here. I'm just going to bring it around in front of the other ones. Again, making sure that I'm not squishing any leaves. Just like that. And I'm securing it at the back so I don't see it. And then I'll just, actually I'm gonna bring this up through this. Oh, I heard a snap. Hopefully that wasn't the newest leaf. This is not as easy as it looks, especially when you have multiple stems. Okay, now I can't see what I'm doing in the front here. Okay, so this guy is migrating. What is going on here? What a mess. Okay, I had to move the camera out of the way because everything was just falling apart in front of me here. Just have to show you guys my newest plant. This is the Spathophyllum or the Sensation Peace Lily as it's called. Look at these leaves, huge, massive leaves. 
There is three separate stems or three plants in this pot. It's a 10 inch pot. Let's get it zoomed out. It's an absolutely beautiful plant. Here is my regular peace lily and it looks like it's gonna be getting a new flower. When I bought it, it didn't have any flowers, which I was okay with. I actually like just the solid uh, green leaf, but it's getting a flower. Okay, I'm just coming over here to grab my watering can. I'm gonna attempt to water this with one hand in hopes that I don't actually destroy or make a huge mess. So I'm just going to water the burlap pole like that. Just let it run down. That way it soaks the, uh, the burlap as well as the water then drains down into the soil. Just like that. Give it a little spray as well. I did fertilize this, I think it was last week, so I'm not gonna add anything new today. I might uh, uh, fertilize again in a couple weeks, so. Again, just give it a little bit of a spray and some water. Still drains really well, so I'm happy with the soil consistency, but the only thing is, is that I'm just having to water it quite often. This is a one gallon uh, water pump and spray jug. This is actually my second one as Oscar. He ate my uh, hose here a couple weeks ago, actually a day after I bought it. The thing I like about this for a little storage, the wand, just snaps into the handle like that and you can carry it around. Uh, this actually locks in as well. Can't do it with one hand. There, it locks in so you can carry it around. It's very portable, very versatile. I don't think I'm gonna add any water to my Syngonium cheap pans here. The soil is still a little bit on the uh, damp side. And like I said, it needs to be repotted soon. So I'm gonna set this back upstairs, but I love this Syngonium. It's probably my easiest and fastest growing Syngonium, and I have two of them. I'll show you the other one down here, which I'll probably be adding some uh, of this uh, felt tape, I don't even know what it's called, uh, to the plank as well. Um, but yeah, this is a beautiful Syngonium. Uh, much easier than my Syngonium Three Kings. This thing is ridiculous. Um, it, yeah, it does not do well for me. I don't know if anyone else has this issue or not, but um, it was overwatered, I think, at one point. Um, so it did develop a little bit of root rot. Uh, I'm trying to rehab it back. It's uh, definitely gotten some new roots, got some new growth here, but it just looks pathetic. Okay, not happy with this one. Uh, a few other syngonians, but uh, yeah, let's, let's keep on task here. I'm gonna go get my other chia pens on the uh, planks. Got all my plants on planks down there. Let's do a couple things to those plants and water them as well. Here is one of my golden pothos that is currently on a uh, plank. It's down on the floor. Uh, I have three stems, but this one is the one that I want secured to the plank as it's kind of just flopping over. So I'm just gonna wrap it around. The other ones I'll basically leave as like filler plants for the bottom. Okay, so just so you can see, around the back here, it is secured nicely. I like the Velcro. It uh, secures it really nice, really snug, so you can pull it and just lay it like that. Uh, this is super dry, so I'm gonna give it some water here too. I'm gonna use the watering, the pump sprayer. This is my little area and my fancy little lights. Okay. And then I just spray the plank just like that. And then give it some water. Just kind of making a big mess here, but that's okay.
In other videos, I've had people concerned about the wood planks rotting, and I did take one out of uh, one of the pots, and it didn't look like there was any rot or anything like that, so I'll probably have to like upsize or repot these plants before I have to replace the wood planks from uh, rotting. But if you want to, like if you don't want to put it in the soil itself, you can uh, leave it on uh, the outside of the pot, or you can just place the pot up against a wall, something like that, just so the wood isn't in actual like direct contact with the soil and soil moisture, if you are concerned about that. But uh, for right now, this is the first time I've done these uh, planks. So it's again, just like most things, just a little bit of a trial and error. So, so far I haven't really noticed any rotting or anything like that. This is actually just a, a wood plank from the uh, one of my kids' bed frames. Um, just one of the wood slots for the mattress to sit on. So had an extra set just sitting in the garage. So I thought I'd uh, utilize these planks for my plants. Spray off the leaves here a little bit too. Okay, we'll see what else we got. Next up is the Philodendron Silver Sword. This one's not too bad. Like it's, it's pretty tight, but I'm gonna switch it all out to that fabric and just try it out. Here's the newest leaf as of a couple days ago. I'm just gonna sneak that in there like this. Let's bring it around to the back. Okay, that's how I'm gonna do it from now on is just lightly secure it like that. Cut it and then just cinch it up like that. So it's nice and snug, just like that. Just gonna spray down the leaves a little bit. Should probably do this like in the shower or in my bathroom or even outside. It's a little cool outside today, but um, just so I'm not making a mess on my plant table. I got water everywhere. Just gonna soak the pot here too. Looks like there's some pretty dry soil as it's starting to bubble right here. Not a pencil. Got some nice dry pockets right there. You can see the bubbles popping up. So I'm gonna let that drain through and then I'm gonna give it some more water again uh, till it comes out the bottom of the drain hole. Look at how secure this plant is. It ain't going anywhere. There was another plant, I have to find it. I think I used tape, maybe it was this one. I can't remember, I did, I did use uh, tape on one of the planks. It didn't really hold it very well. It was basically just a little experiment as well. So I did replace it with, uh, I can't remember if it was this one, I don't know. One of them, it had the tape, just put the fabric on. I think I fertilized most of my house plants about two weeks ago, so I'm just using uh, just water for this one. And probably in the next maybe week or two, I'm gonna give some more fertilizer to these plants, my upstairs and downstairs ones. It's probably one thing that I forget to do specifically for my downstairs ones that are underneath the grow lights. It doesn't go through that uh, uh, spring, summer, winter uh, grow cycle. Um, like you would see upstairs. So I have to remember to fertilize my downstairs plants a little bit more frequently just because they get that consistent uh, 14 hours of uh, grow lights throughout the day. So they definitely need to be fertilized a little bit more than the uh, plants upstairs. Um, specifically in the winter, those plants don't really need much fertilizer, but now that it is officially spring, I fertilized uh, all my house plants. So I should start to see some growth explosion here. Okay, I'm gonna set this one aside. I think I got uh, my other chia pens that I need to secure up on the plank. Here is my other chia pens, and look at these leaves. These are gorgeous. Okay, so, oh, it's getting a new leaf here too. Right there. So I'm gonna do the same thing. It's only got four leaves on this one. This one I bought as uh, like a from like a plant auction website, so it was pretty cheap. I got a pretty good deal on it. I'm just going to wrap that around. Just like that. Just temporarily secure it at the back. I got this now. I've got it down to a science. Snip that off like that. And then I can go back and adjust it. This is really loose. These planks are pretty flimsy. Actually, I think that's pretty okay. I'm just gonna center it a bit more. 
hold that there and just cinch it up just a little bit just like that there I didn't want to put it any higher because I didn't want the uh, the fabric or the felt here damaging the new leaf as it uh, pops out of the stem here so that is okay just going to rotate it around here again everything looks good on the back now I'm going to give it some water as it is bone dry I let my syngoniums basically dry out completely but once they get a little bit droopy or I try not to let them get uh, droopy because if you let a plant uh, dry out for too long that can lead to root rot as well so those roots basically dry up and then when you give it some water it uh, basically rots off so you can get root rot from underwatering it's a little bit safer I guess to underwater a plant but I have gotten root rot with underwatering plants. I'm loving these planks already. Like my plants haven't grown like a ton since uh, placing them on planks, which I'll show you uh, here in a second. I'm gonna give them some water, but um, I love the, I guess the concept of these uh, plank, uh, plants on planks. I don't need to water the, the back of the plank, but I don't know why I did that. <laughs> It's going to soak the soil completely, that way it is thoroughly watered and again I'll probably fertilize in the next uh, week or so. Watch when I spray off these leaves, look at the colors just popping, look at how gorgeous these are. If you are able to find a chia pence, I highly recommend it. This is such a beautiful syngonium. And honestly, it doesn't even look like the typical arrowhead plant um, leaf or arrowhead leaf shape. This is more of like a philodendron or like an anthurium type leaf, but super easy to grow. And uh, it, uh, it's a fairly fast growing one as well. That's the nice thing about having this little pump spray bottle is I can uh, just sit downstairs here on my kid's little uh, workshop uh, table, chair, whatever you want to call it, and I just water my plants. Here's the Mother Plant Spectrum 32 uh, Grow Light. Now I've already watered this Golden Pothos. Here is my Cebu Blue. Just gonna soak this one as well, just water on the plank. Looking forward to seeing this uh, Cebu Blue grow up these uh, planks here just to get those uh, larger leaves and fenestrated leaves. Here is my small little Syngonian Frosted Heart and it's getting a new leaf there as well. So this is one that I put the plank on the outside of the pot. You can see right back here, I secured it to the outside of the pot. I'm just gonna try this one just to, as a little experiment. And once this plant starts to grow upright, then I'm just going to push it uh, onto the plank like that. But for right now, I'm just letting it grow. So I'm just gonna give this one some water. It's in a smaller terracotta. These are all pretty much terracotta pots. So this one dries out pretty quick. So I'm gonna give this a good soaking. Let that drain through. There's a couple little syngoniums and a alocasia uh, dragon scale corm that I found. I, I uh, had it in perlite, I think. I potted it in soil and it basically dried up, but you can see it's getting a new growth point. So this one is super dry, which that's not good. Just gonna give this one some water. There's my syngonium elbow that got root rot. It's just a tiny little cutting, but it's uh, now gotten a couple new leaves, re kind of rehabbing that one back. And then the other one beside it is the, this one right here is the Syngonium Green Splash. This will be uh, my next video, um, taking all these uh, plants out of moss. I have a bunch right now, and I'll be transitioning them into soil. So I think that'll be my next video. I'm gonna try and film. Back here, I have another Hawaiian Pulthos, which I'm going to 
Just water the plank here. This chia pants is in the way. Come on. There you go. Move it over a bit. This one, they're all dry. They need a good, good soaking. So far, I've been pretty good that I don't uh, miss the plank or spray the wall or anything like that. I usually just do it like this. Put the, put the wand on the plank, and just let the water drain down, and then I'll just keep an eye on the soil. If I use like this wand directly in the soil, then I'll basically just blast the dirt on my wall. Here is a neon pothos back here as well. Whoops, that's going onto the floor. I'm going to be chopping this one up. I've been wanting to uh, propagate this one for quite some time, so that'll be another video that I'll be making down the road here is how to propagate the philodendron birkin and make more plants out of this one. What a beautiful plant. Got some water in there, water. This one has water coming out the bottom as well. Here's a little uh, crimson princess. These are all propagated cuttings. Just trying it out in the basement here. When I have it in brighter sunlight, the leaves get a little bit more yellow. So I'm trying this uh, grow light just to see if they, you know, like the newest growth comes out more of the classic uh, white variegation and not kind of this creamy yellow. So I think that's going to be it for plant chores and watering that sort of thing. So if you have any questions, please leave it down below in the comment section. Thanks again for watching. Appreciate all the support. Take care, everyone. Bye.